Hello everyone. I'm Preeti Guruswami, Executive Leadership Coach and Collective Experience of 25 Years of Engineering Leadership. I worked with organizations like Intuit, Oracle, Informatica, and CGI. As a coach, I help individuals identify their strengths, passion, and goals, and align them with their creative endeavors. I also help them to develop a growth mindset during this journey, which is a very essential skill to, to lead an organization, learn new skills, and embrace feedback. I enjoy igniting the light of inner wisdom for ambitious people who love to learn to lead. Today, we are talking about an interesting topic called as the power of collective creativity. This, this term was coined by James Roth in 1961. Today, we are going to see how power of collective creativity will help the organization and strive them towards innovation. Now, the moment you heard collective creativity, what does it come on your mind? The first thing that I hear most commonly is innovation. Yes, creativity is nothing but the innovation. When it comes to leading innovation, it becomes very challenging. Creativity is crucial to sustaining many organizations, innovation and competitiveness. Leading innovation is not creating vision executing or planning. What does it mean? An innovation is nothing but identifying collectively the new and the usefulness which can enable the organization and the people around us. It can be a product, it can be a service, it can be a process or the way we lead an organization. It could be done incrementally or it could be a break. Everything and every each and every word is very inclusive definition of innovation. When many of us think when it comes to innovation, as think about Einstein having an aha moment. But we all know that's a myth. Innovation is about not the solo geniuses. It is a collective geniuses. Let's think about different organizations like Pixar, which has done amazing movies, which has taken many years for them to happen with literally a lot of people coming together. Google is one such example, Amazon, Facebook. In, it is about in collective geniuses coming together. Individuals in innovative organizations learn how to inspire, learn how to actively listen, and guess what? They also know how to advocate their point of view. They understand that innovation cannot happen in a minute. They understand for innovation to happen, both diversity and conflict come together. They suspend their judgment and make collective decisions to bring in innovation. While we go deeper into the collective, uh, collective creativity, let's take a look at what Linda Hill has got to say. Linda is one of the person who has done a lot of research on this, especially with organizations like Google, Pixar, and also HDL from India. She defines collective creativity as three capabilities, creative ablation, creative agility, and creative resolution. Now, what does these three mean, uh, right? Creative operation is all about creating the marketplace of ideas through debate and conversation. In innovative organization, people amplify the differences and they do not minimize them. It is not about brainstorming. It is about creating, working together and suspending the judgment. They bring different uh, conversation, heated conversation, in a constructive argument to create a portfolio of many alternatives. Similarly, as the portfolio for the innovation is created, creative agility is coming into place. This helps each and every person to test and redefine the ideas that are created. They do it with the help of reflection and adjustment. 
It is a series of discovery, learning where you act on, where you act on, are, uh, and also plan together for the future for a common goal. It's about design thinking where you re I, I, I treat the process in the interesting combination, bringing both scientific and artistic processes. It is about running series of exp uh, experiments and not the series of pilots. The final capability is about creative resolution. This is about decision making together. It is actually combining a lot of opposing ideas, reconfiguring them into the combination of a solution that is new and that is useful. When you look at innovation in an organization, they never go along or get along. But it is important that as one group, you come together with an expertise that you have and develop a patient towards patience towards each other have, and make an inclusive decision to allow a solution to simplify and, and foster innovation. This is how the, the pillar of innovation comes into picture. As I said, it requires a lot of patience and also being very, uh, uh, it requires a lot of patience and it also requires to be non-judgmental. And it's a very important factor for a person to be non -genital. Now let's go into the actual concepts of collective creativity. The collective creativity concepts stay with four Ps. This was defined by James Rhodes, as I said. And uh, it defines as creative person, creative process, creative product, and creative press. When I mean press, it's your environment that comes together. Creative person is about the expertise that the organization brings together or the expertise coming together to solve for a particular problem. Creative thinking skill is about how divergent thinking and convergent thinking can come together and, you know, come about without having any judgmental process, building in with brainstorming and bringing everything together. Why expertise and creative thinking skill are important, both of them can strive only when there is motivation. It's important. Organizational leaders are very supportive of well-being and also motivate their team to bring in both their expertise and creative skills thinking together. But with this, there is some of the takeaway that organization has. Having creative person who's technical or intellectual, and also having creative thinking skills with different kind of diverse people who can come together collectively for form you know, innovation. Creative process is an almost like you know design thinking process where you I you come up with different ideas, brainstorm and prepare. So it, it takes a lot on preparation, incubation, ideation, and bringing them before you, before you start working on them, to have to, them to a way that it can form a creative product. Creative process includes, as I said, all of these things, right? But it is also a process of iterative and coming quickly into solution, right? Both creative person and creative process helps you to build a creative product. But for creative product, it requires a new combination of existing resources or the new resources being coming together. It is also the custom technology, customer real, market change, and unexpected occurrence, where you do all the survey and uh, surveys and also understand how the product evolution would happen. Okay. And or both the creative thinking and expertise knowledge are very critical for an organization to develop a creative product. Now comes the environment. For an environment, every individual in an organization needs to be challenged in a positive way, provide the freedom of thoughts and also the ideas and which could be constructively uh, discussed. It is important how as a team, we create different kinds of resources 
or use the existing resources to transform. It requires encouragement from the leadership and then organizational support. All these four helps in creative structured form of freedom. This gives enough time to create resources and develop a lot of innovation. This actually supports business leaders to reward the innovators as well. As such, as I was talking about, create, collective creativity is one of the strongest process that an organization can adapt to grow together, right? And uh, it is very important. We all, innovation is heart of creativity. You have to unleash the talent, passion of many people. You have to harness the work that comes together in an actually useful way. Innovation is a journey. It, it is a journey of a lot of people, creative work people, creative resources, creative processes to develop a creative product. And this type of innovation requires a collaboration of problem solving together and usually among different set of diverse expertise that can come with different point of views together. That's how an organization can strive innovation against any competition. As a coach, I help in creating, by, I, create, I help in collective creativity by providing support for organizational leaders and simulating environment for individuals and groups to explore the creative potential within the group or within the individual to overcome the challenges and to foster innovation. With that, the collective creativity, with that, we come to the end of the session. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at, uh, at my LinkedIn uh, profile, Preeti Guruswami, or you can uh, touch base on my website, preetiguruswami.com. Thank you, everybody. See you soon. Bye.